What is up guys and we are back with Hap... Uh, what? We are back with Nighthawk Cast and I am glad to announce after Nighthawk Cast has been gone for a few weeks I think it's been I, I literally brought it back to say hey we're gonna do three stories inside of one video to basically come by and say hey guess what we're going back to singles yep we're going back to single news story Bigger explanation, bigger talk about, and today we're back with some news about Happy Death Day. So, Happy Death Day, I'm, you're going to see a review of that in a later, but Happy Death Day, the director of Happy Death Day is already talking about a sequel. So, the he question I'm here to answer is, is Happy Death Day worth a sequel? It depends on how you do it. I honestly want to say that after watching Happy Death Day, it was refreshing to see a horror movie that wasn't the same old thing with the same old ending. You know how horror movies end nowadays, on a twist, or with someone screaming, or how it pissed me off that Rob Zombie's Halloween movies exist, plainly. But basically, I think that, if it, is it worth a sequel? The big question right there, is it worth a sequel? It depends on what the sequel would be about. The director has quoted it saying that he had a certain idea that if he got a chance to make it, it would blow people's minds. Basically paraphrasing that. But he said that it was an interesting concept that he had to continue on the story. He wouldn't say whether it would connect to the original characters or anything of the original movie. And to that, I have to say, it's kind of on the fence with me because... Don't Breathe was another one where the director said, I got a really good idea for a sequel. And even Sam Raimi saw, heard his idea and said, wow, that is a really great idea. And we're still waiting to see if Don't Breathe 2 pans out. So the big question answering here of, is Happy Death Day worth a sequel? In my opinion, it's all about time. Because, I mean, if you... This, this movie actually has a, a positive rating on... Rotten Tomatoes, Metacritic, and um, I think Jeremy Johns said it was pretty good. So, that's the big thing right there. Time. Uh, the critics have been nice to it, but the big question of whether the box office is going to be nice to it this week, or within the coming weeks, if it makes enough money. But, I have never seen Blumhouse turn down a sequel if there's good motive behind it. So, it's a big question of, can it be done? And what kind of way does he want to take it? Because to me, I'm thinking like maybe it, maybe she's like grown up or maybe she gets married and this happens again, maybe. But that, that's, that's the big question. Like where would he take it? And that's what I'm waiting for. The big two concepts here are time. Like how long is it going to take him to do this? And maybe like number two would be what is it going to be about? What is the big thing about this film that we need to know and the big thing we need to know is what is it going to be about how long is it going to take to get here and how well happy death day does in the box office or continues to do with critics because it holds a 64 rating on rotten tomatoes and i i think that's enough to um warrant a sequel if the idea is good because if it sucks they should just not do it so that's my thoughts there on if Happy Death Day is worthy of a sequel, but I should probably answer the question in my own words. Do I think Happy Death Day is worth a sequel? You know, I don't think so, because basically sitting here telling you that it's not, because it was a solid film, it was something new, it was something fresh, it's like that sandwich that you just love, it's like a sandwich, and then someone comes and piles more and more and more on it, like more sequels, more spin-offs or whatnot it's just not like you got like a ham sandwich and come someone comes over and throws i don't know kale on it and it's like no that's not gonna work so in my opinion it's just that solid nice film that was new and fresh no one had really done it before i i think it should be done great movie you know i just you know that's what i think that's what i honestly think and uh <laughs> that's what i'm gonna close out on i think that it shouldn't have a sequel and that's my final verdict 